Hi, this is Rashida Ayers of Rashida Ayers Law Office and welcome to our summertime edition. And as always, our summertime edition is filmed outdoors. So today we're going to talk about the ACD. So an ACD is a term that many, many people are familiar with, but they simply do not fully understand the implications of an ACD or the legalities of an ACD. So let's start out with what does ACD even stand for? ACD stands for Adjournment and Contemplation of Dismissal. What the court is saying to the defendant is, we're going to adjourn your case to some future date and time, and in the interim, we will consider dismissing your case. Typically, there's some sort of stipulations in the interim, such as you cannot get in trouble, or you must complete some sort of program, but ultimately what the court is saying is that we're going to contemplate dismissing your case, and when you come before the court on your adjournment date, at that time, we, the court, will determine whether your case is dismissed and expunged or sealed, or if the state will pursue the case in court. That's what it means. Now, ACD is typically reserved for non-violent offenders. Also, it's typically reserved for those who have never been in trouble with the law before. So this is their first time being brought to court for any sort of alleged criminal act or violation. So those are usually the two bottom requirements in order for the state to offer a defendant an ACD. First time offender, non-violent offender. Now, the general theoretical thrust of an ACD is this, that since this person has not committed a violent or horrible crime, and since this is the person's first time having contact with the criminal court system, we're going to give this person the benefit of the doubt. In other words, we want to place this defendant in the position he or she was in prior to this case. That is in theory. And I say that because there are still some exceptions to that general theoretical thrust. For example, most law schools still want to know about that prior contact with the criminal justice system. In fact, the application itself is worded in such a way that you cannot get around it. So it will say something to the effect of, have you ever had any involvement with the criminal justice system, even if the case was ACD, even if the case was sealed, even if the case was expunged, we don't care about any of that. We still want to know, right? So it really doesn't place you in the position you were in prior to coming into contact with the criminal justice system if law schools can still turn around and say, hey, we still want to know about it. We don't care that it was expunged, blown up, put on fire, doesn't exist on earth. We want to know about that previous contact. Another scenario where someone might, or an institution might pry into that prior contact with the criminal justice system is certain law enforcement jobs. Some of those jobs will ask about prior contact with the criminal justice system, including those cases where the case was, again, ACD, sealed, expunged, doesn't matter. We want to know about it. We want to know about it. So it really does not live up to its theoretical intent, which is a great intent, right, of giving someone a second chance. But in this case, it really doesn't because some scenarios allow for institutions to pry into that prior. Now, you've probably heard me throw around two terms in this video and you're wondering, you might be wondering, what do they mean? One term I've used is expunged and another term I've used is sealed. Very important terms. Different states handle ACDs differently. So in some states, like New York State, there is no such thing as expunging records. It doesn't exist. As of this taping, that could change in the future. What that means is in New York State, even if your case is ACD, I like to call it ACD, in other words, we're going to seal your records and place you back in the position you were in prior to this occurring, it doesn't really get destroyed. It is merely sealed. That means, like in the case of law school or some sort of investigation by law enforcement, it could potentially be unsealed, right? So it's not as permanent as the other term, expungement. 
Some states offer expungement, and what that means is an absolute permanent deletion of the record. In other words, it doesn't physically exist anymore. And so that's essentially what an ACD means. You always want to get that offer if you are a first time nonviolent offender, because you do want to have some chance to start over and not have this history follow you around everywhere you go, even better if you live in a state where expungement exists. As always, if you have a legal question and you would like a telephone legal consultation, we are here for you. While our service is not free, it is extraordinarily, extraordinarily